Oxford Reading Tree Biff, Chip and Kipper Stories Level 8 Written by Roderick Hunt Illustrated by Alex Brichter Series created by Roderick Hunt and Alex Brichter Published by Oxford University Press 2011 Hi everyone, this is Miss Tom. Let's keep on reading A Day in London. Previously, before they took off to London, Mom told the children to look after Gran. When they got to London, Gran parked the car. They took the tube to get around. There were lots of people waiting on the platform. When the train came in, everyone tried to squeeze in. First, they went to Trafalgar Square. On top of the column was a statue of Nelson. There were lots of pigeons in Trafalgar Square. Gran bought some nuts. The children fed the pigeons. Then they went to Buckingham Palace, where the Queen lives. It was enormous with many rooms. A big car drove past, and everyone cheered and waved. After Buckingham, Gran took the children on a boat. They went under Tower Bridge. The children were excited because the bridge began to open. It began to rain and the wind blew. Everyone felt cold. Never mind, said Gran. We'll think of somewhere warm to go next. <laughs> How can you tell the wind blew? Yes, everyone's hair flew straight in the air. Anina's hair even flew up. They clutched their clothes tightly. Which warm place would they go next? They went to the waxworks. What is a waxworks? Asked Kipper as they went in. It has wax models of famous people, said Nina. Waxworks is a wax museum. La Xiang Guan. The models are made of wax. Oh, look, there was a giant wax model of an English king. Do you know which king it was? Yes, it was King Henry the Eighth. He married six times. How can you tell this place was warm? Look at Biff and Nadim. They took off their coats. But I hope it was not too warm. Otherwise, the wax might start to melt. What is a waxworks? A waxworks is a museum with wax models of famous people. They looked at the models. Don't they look funny? said Kipper. You can tell they're models and not real people. 
said Nina. Do you know who the man in blue was? He was Admiral Nelson, the one who stood on top of the column in Trafalgar Square. <laughs> He was everywhere in London. Do you think the models look funny? Well, I think I would look funny too if I wore those clothes. How can you tell they were models and not real people? Well, just look at their eyes. Their eyes never blinked. How long can you not blink? Try it now. Keep your eyes open. Don't blink. Can you hold it for one minute? Two minutes. Don't blink. See how hard it is. Who are these people? Asked Kippa. That is Queen Victoria," said Gran. "And some of her grandchildren. She had lots of grandchildren," said Nadim. Victoria became the queen in 1837. In that year, Empress Dowager Cixi, Cixi Huang Taihou. Was two years old. <laughs> Queen Victoria was on the throne for sixty-three years and seven months. That was a very long time. Ooh, wow! Do you know how many children and grandchildren she had? <laughs> she had nine children and forty-two grandchildren. Many of them married princes and princesses in other European countries. That's why Queen Victoria was nicknamed the Grandmother of Europe. <laughs> Queen Victoria looks very fierce," said Biff. "I bet she wasn't like you, Gran." <laughs> Well, I wouldn't like to be a queen," said Gran. "It must be a hard job. I think Biff might be right. Queen Victoria wasn't like Gran. <laughs> She, for one, wouldn't smash a window by playing golf in her palace." <laughs> Gran didn't want to be a queen. What do you think? Do you want to be a queen or a king? They looked at a street scene. This is what London was like a long time ago," said Gran. "A lot of people were very poor." Which street was it? Can you find the clue in the picture? Yes, it was Oxford Street. Was the police poor? I don't think so. But the man and the girl looked poor. They wore simple clothes. They looked thin and tired. What did the poor people do in the old days? Poor children didn't go to school in those days. They had to work instead," said Gran. That boy carrying brushes is a sweep. His job. Was to climb up chimneys and brush suit down. Would you like to go to school 
or work instead. You might say, "Oh, Miss Tom, there is so much work at school." But I think it was a much harder job to climb up chimneys and brush down soot. Do you agree? Look at the sweep boy, 扫烟囱的男孩 He carried a heavy ladder and a dirty brush. He was not smiling. He had bags under his eyes. <sighs> It must be a hard job. <coughs> Did poor children go to school in the old days? No, they had to work instead. Gran went off to look at the royal family, while the children stayed at the street scene. Do you think Gran should go off by herself? <coughs> said Biff. She can't do much harm in here. <coughs> said Chip. Went off here means left to do something else. Gran went off to look at the royal family. Who were they? They were Queen Elizabeth, her husband Prince Philip, and her two children, Prince Charles and Princess Anne. Biff was worrying about Gran, but I think Chip was right. What harm? Could she possibly do in here, right? What happened next? Let's find out in the next episode. See you next time. 本节目由喜马拉雅出品。